Hi everybody, Adrienne here, and today I'm coming to you with a kind of hodgepodge haul. Part of these products I picked up at Ulta, some of them I picked up at Target, and the rest I ordered from Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in with the products that I picked up from Ulta. And I did grab another cleansing balm from Clinique. I have switched over to the cleansing oil, but I do still like the cleansing balm for travel. I don't think I would take the oil with me. And I had the smaller trial size than this one, and I also had the large full size, and I used the rest of the large full size and I wasn't sure um, when I wanted to replace it because I am not going to be traveling anytime soon or so I think so I will just stick with the cleansing oil but I had some points at Ulta where I got free product and there was a girl in front of me in line that had a gift certificate and she had six dollars left on her gift certificate after she finished her purchase and she turned around and asked me if I wanted it says she wasn't going to return to Ulta so I was quite stunned and said yes I would like it and I ended up getting the this for free with my Ulta Rewards points and everything I was buying in the store at that time and with the rest of her gift card so I was happy to get my hands on this to use in the future. Also I picked up my first Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter and this is in the shade Champagne. Um, this is what the color looks like on the back of it. I will go ahead and open it up and just swatch a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see. This is unique with this little dropper, but I'm not going to squeeze it yet. And I got a little bit of it on the back of my hand. This is what the highlight shade looks like before it's blended out. And I'm going to go ahead and just dab it on the back of my hand so you can see how popping this highlight is. Hopefully it's showing up well. It's really pretty color, this champagne. I do think I want to eventually go back and get the Gold Luster shade. I also picked up some NYX lip products, surprise, surprise, are one of my favorite brands. I've been wanting to venture out into red lipsticks, so I did grab this red matte lipstick, and I can't read what the shade is. I will put it on the screen, but this is what it looks like, and I am going to go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand to show you what that color looks like. And this is what the shade looks like. So I don't know, this might... Well, on the camera, it looks like an orangey red, but in the natural lighting for me, it looks like a really pretty red that I would wear. And this is in the matte velvet, so I love their matte formulated lipsticks. And I also picked up from Ulta, and I think this is in the shade Matador, one of their matte liquid lip creams, and this is a red shade. And out of liquid lipsticks, this is one of the only formulations that I like, and I'm swatching that right underneath that lipstick so you guys can see what this color is. And this is Matador. So that's a really pretty red also. And I picked up another lip cream, and it is in the shade Monte Carlo, and it's another red that looks like this. I'll go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. Trying to get that color built up good. So this is some good variation in some red shades. I did uh, go into Target also. And when I was in Target, I ended up grabbing this lip liner from NYX. And it is just in the shade red. And I'll go ahead and swatch it under the lip colors. Because I haven't seen what it looks like. And I just dinged it. Trying to get the cap back on. But right underneath right here, that's what the red lip liner looks like. In the actual shade red and then when I was in Target I went ahead and picked up one of the Revlon HD matte lipsticks uh, this is my third one of these I'm not really sure how I feel about it and if the tip of this does look a little bit darker it's because I mixed it with some black I did play with it a black crayon to see if I could darken it a little bit but this is pretty much what that shade looks like and this is in the shade I have to post it I can't see the thing about these that I'm not sure like I can smell this right now as I was watching it on my hands it's got a fruity smell and I hate fruity smelling products I do typically like the finish of this because it doesn't really dry down all the way matte and it's nice to put over some lipsticks also matte lipsticks to help hold the color and just make them a little more bearable if they are a really drying formulation these work really nice topping it on over the top of it but it is just 
if you don't mind fruity smells and you like that, you probably love it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear these and I probably shouldn't have picked up another red one, but I did because the color just looks so pretty and intense to me and I wanted to make sure I got a good red shade and this looked like it, but I don't know. I may end up regretting this with the smell of this product because it's kind of sickening sweet to me. But yeah, those are the red shades that I picked up and while I was in Target, I also have been wanting some different types of sponges for putting my banana powder on my forehead. So they had some Sonia Kashuk sponges here that I thought would go really good for putting um, also this pointed edge. Like when I want to bake, putting some of the banana powder around here and getting it close to the lash line and just kind of rolling this big part here and just rolling it over the forehead to apply banana powder and also just when I'm trying to get the banana powder down the bridge of my nose sometimes the other applicators that I have the beauty blenders that I'm using right now I don't really like them for this so I thought this would be nice and would kind of fold and roll a little bit so I could work with it easier so I'll have to let you guys know what I think of these and I've been wanting these for so long these beauty blenders from her and you guys are going to laugh when I tell you why I want these beauty blenders so bad. Besides the shape and the size of them, um, one of my favorite animal is a killer whale. And these look like killer whales to me. Every time I look at it, especially like this one here, this looks like the little eye here. So I really did buy beauty blenders because it looked like a killer whale to me. So I'm excited to have these and hope that I like them a lot and that they are soft. The only beauty blenders that I've had have been the ones from Real Techniques. And I have one from Makeup Revolution that I basically just use the flat surface of it to put the banana powder under my eyes. But... I was wanting one that was shaped like this to put my actual foundation on. I thought I'd like that better. And my Real Techniques one is okay, but I just thought I'd try a different shape, so that's why I picked that up. And uh, looking down at the table, I think those are the only things that I got from Ulta and Target. Now for the products that I ordered from Kylie Cosmetics. I have had this palette for about a year and only used it like twice, but I never mentioned it on my channel. And it is the Kylie Burgundy Palette. And it is a nine pan compact that looks like this with no mirror on the inside. It's got really pretty warm burgundy tones to it and just reminds you of the whole ABH Modern Renaissance theme. So this is a palette that I like to get ready with really quick, but I've only used it twice. But the two times that I used it, I did like it, but I thought I would mention it to you guys that I have it. And the second palette that I picked up is the Kylie Peach Palette. And what is this? The Peach... It just says Peach Extended. And it's a really plain packaged box and it's got the colors on the back. And this is what the actual palette looked like. I don't know if you guys can see with the glare that it does say Kylie across the front in white. This palette is really heavy and weighty. This feels like um, really expensive cardboard and magnet. It's a pretty heavy palette. And it's got a nice size mirror in there. I won't continue to blind you guys with the mirror. I will take this sheet out so it's not as shiny. This is even a thicker quality too, this plastic piece that's in here. And this is what the shades look like. I love peach eyeshadows. Let me put it on this side so you guys can see all the colors. I love peach eyeshadows. And this I probably won't get into until spring because this really motivates me for the spring season. I think peach eye looks are so pretty. And I know that coral is um, the Pantone color of the year. Maybe this shade's a little corally. The rest of them look like a true peach. Most of the palettes that I get that are peachy are a peachy pink, which I do like a lot, but it is nice to have one that is pure peach, and I feel like this palette really nails that. And I like all the champagne shimmer shades that are in it, so I'm excited to get to work with it in the spring season. I may dip into it earlier if I mix it with that burgundy palette or something. I think burgundy with this pure peach would be really nice. So I picked that up and I don't remember what the prices are to these Kylie palettes. So I will stick them out to the side or I probably already have. And the third palette that I picked up was the burgundy extended palette. And it comes in a box just like the peach one. And it's got the names on the back and it looks exactly the same the outer packaging the same quality with the Kylie writing in white 
and it's got the mirror on the inside also just like the last one so I won't bother to blind you with it and I do think that this palette is totally different than the first burgundy palette I don't feel like it's a repeat at all there are a couple shades that are in the first burgundy palette that are in here but this one is more of a cool tone palette where the first burgundy palette that she released like I said it gave off the modern renaissance vibes from ABH and it had more of the orange shades in there and I think a uh, copper shimmer shade so you could pull like a warm burgundy look but this one is more of a cool burgundy look like even that shade there looks a little plum and this shade looks a little plum also and some of the matte base shades look mauve so I really like a good mauve burgundy look and I was excited to get this and don't feel like it was a waste of money or a repeater. It does seem like a true extension from the first palette to me looking at it. I haven't had a chance to work in it. So I really can't wait to get in this palette and play around because the matte shades in here look beautiful to me. And I really am liking the color scheme of this palette. It seems like a true burgundy palette. And it was kind of a toss up. For me, I thought originally I wanted the KKW, maybe the Blossom palette, Classic Blossom or whatever it's called, but I like the shades in this one a lot better. And this palette is like an extension of the core looks that I've always worn since I started wearing makeup as a teenager. I've always had a good burgundy palette, but they were quad palettes and they maybe only had like... Um, a few of the shades in here and like this would be the lightest of the shades and it just didn't have all the variety that this one has so I was excited to go get something that reminded me of how I used to originally do my makeup when I first started wearing makeup and when I was in my 20s so that is it for this haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything that you want to see looks of or reviewed sooner than later please let me know down in the comment section and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe you also want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so youtube notifies you every time i upload a new video i'll see you guys soon